So in this video, I'm going to help you with labeling the seasons on your supplemental aid. I'm going to go through what you should start with and how to go to order. And then we're going to go over the order of the seasons. So let's look at that first diagram that you have on your supplemental aid. So on this one, we have all the axes tilted to the right. And the first thing that I told you you need to find is find summer in the northern hemisphere. So finding northern, uh, finding summer in the northern hemisphere to me is the easiest one. So it's either going to be this one on the left or this one on the right. So we're going to focus on those two first. So I'm looking for the one where the top is tilted towards the sun. So between these two, I can see that this one has the top tilted towards the sun. So that's my northern hemisphere. This is my northern hemisphere. This is my southern hemisphere. Okay. So right here, this top is tilted towards the sun. So that's my summer in the northern hemisphere. Now, the thing I also told y'all to remember is that everything in space, for the sake of our class, goes counterclockwise. That means opposite of the clock. Everything in space moves counterclockwise. So we're going to remember that. So we're going to go in order and we're going to label our seasons in order. So first I have summer, then fall in the northern hemisphere. Keep going. Counterclockwise, we have winter in the northern hemisphere. And then we have spring in the northern hemisphere. Now, once you have these labeled, you need to remember that whatever is happening in, in the north, the opposite is happening in the south. So once we have all of our northern seasons uh, written down, we need to go ahead and label our southern hemisphere. So it goes just the opposite. So in the south, opposite of summer is winter, and then we just go in order around and we make sure that they're opposite. So after winter, we have spring. After spring, we have summer. And after summer, we have fall. And we can see that all of those are opposite. Summer will always be opposite of winter and spring and fall will always op be opposite as well. So we have to remember those kind of in pairs. So let's look at our next diagram. So this one, all of them are tilted to the left. So again, we're going to focus on the one on the left and the right, and we're going to look for which one is tilted towards the sun. So in that case, this one, the northern hemisphere, is tilted towards the sun. So this is my summer in the northern hemisphere. Again, everything in space moves counterclockwise. So from here, I'm going to label around. So I have fall, winter, spring all the way around summer fall winter spring those are my seasons in the northern hemisphere now i need to label my southern hemisphere down here so opposite of summer is winter and then i just go around again and label from there so after winter we have spring after spring summer after summer we have fall so you are remembering these first like i said find summer in the northern hemisphere and then remember that everything goes counterclockwise and we just need to remember our seasons in order from there. Now, you are also given as a supplemental aid, you are able to see SFWS and then you're also able to see these pictures to help you remember the seasons. So whenever you see these, you need to remember those seasons in order. That it goes summer, fall or autumn, winter, then spring. So if we can remember those in order, continue to find the summer in the northern hemisphere from there, we should be able to label all of our diagrams. I hope that helps.